Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura and if you're new here, thank you for coming by and would you please hit that subscribe and go and check that little bell icon because even though it looks like it's already got you down to receive notifications, it isn't really. <laughs> Trust me, I've checked that out myself on some channels that I've subscribed to recently and found out that Nope, you have to definitely go and double check that. So just a little heads up there. And I want to welcome everybody and thank you all for all of your support. It is amazing. Um, I absolutely love beading. I always have. And um, coming back to doing this and doing it full time now has um, really helped me a lot with my depression and everything so this has been a really good thing for me and joining bargain beadbox has been amazing um and i gotta tell you guys when you join bargain beadbox not only are you getting the monthly beading subscription for 1949 a month shipped to your door um you get a 30 percent off coupon that you can use over and over and over again for the entire month so in their sister store and I gotta tell you I've been destashing all my junk and um, what I make from it I have been using towards beads and supplies and making jewelry to sell this summer so that I have all that ready to go and I, I've been blown away um, with what I'm making. So let's just get into this. This is going to be very simple, very quick tutorial. This is from the sister store. So all these items today are going to be from Bargain Bead Box, except for um, these bigger jump rings, the um, head pins, and the chain that I'm going to be using. Um, they're all still nickel free. I'm being very, very mindful because I did have a couple of people ask me when I was set up last fall at Christmas time, if the items were nickel free because they had allergies to nickel. And I really did not know going into this that I needed to make sure and be mindful of that. So I am now making sure that all of my stuff, when I label it and package it, I have it labeled that it's lead free, nickel free, um, and what the items are. Like for instance, these here are, when I go to label this, this is going to be labeled lead free, nickel free, and check press glass and you know what, what the items are made out of. So when the person purchases it, they're going to see that the quality of the items are also there. So we're going to be making a very quick necklace using this owl pendant. It's a very nice size, very much a statement piece. I'm going to let you know, I'm also going to use just a small um, strand of this also um, as a dangle from here. Um, this is going to be a simple chain. I'm not going to add anything to the chain itself, I don't think. Uh, I may change my mind. But I do want to show you how I made some of these because I have already made some of my dangles. I have zoomed in my camera a little bit, but I have made some of my dangles. And these have a loop on each end. We're going to be simply adding um, these to it with some of the small jump rings. And then I have these three that will be at leaves that will be added to this chain and will also be dangling. So there's going to be a total of five dangles from this owl. So I'm going to take my long, this is a three inch, um, I thought I had some short ones and I don't. We're just going to stick this pin up through and I love this crystal, and you know, I could not get it. It was already gone. But I think I have some red coming just like it um, for Valentine's Day. 
I have some stuff coming to make some Valentine's stuff. Um, I could not get what I wanted from Jesse James Beads. Or from, not Jesse James. Maybe that's why I couldn't find it. I should have gone to Jesse James Beads and not Sam's Bead Box. Maybe that's why I couldn't find it. I was looking at the wrong place. Um, but either way, I do have some red beads and some stuff for Valentine's. We're going to make a wrapped loop. So I'm going to come up just above those leaves. We're going to make a bend. And then we're going to bring this up around. This is a very um, stealthy uh, head pin. These came from Hobby Lobby. And we're going to come down around my pliers here. And we're going to do a couple of wraps. Just like so, I just want to wrap around a couple of times. I'm going to pull him straight away so he's not too close to that. And I want to come in here with my flush cutters. And I want to cut away. And I may keep some of these longer pieces because I can use them in other things. I'm going to stick my pliers right back in there to hold on to this. Switch hands. You can see I have that sticking out. I'm going to grab my um, bat nose pliers. And I'm going to try to get this to come on around. And... There we are. We got him down. And then um, these were just simple wraps. Um, what we're going to do with these leaves is simply take these small jump rings. I'm using the small jump rings here. These came from B-Box Bargains. I'm using the small jump rings on this so that they are not as noticeable. Always twist sideways. We're going to hook the bottom of the leaf on, and then we're going to put this leaf element, and then we're going to twist them back together. And we want to make sure that they are I always turn them and look from different angles. And we're going to go ahead and do that with all of the. Now with this, I want this to come down. Um, and I'm going to dangle these leaves kind of like this with one at the bottom. So I'm kind of planning on how I want this to hang. Probably kind of like that. I'm going to have this on this side, this here. Probably one of these over here. And this over here, kind of like this. So I think what we're going to do is, and this is, it's kind of where I'm going to hang this. So let's see. These rings are not split. So we're going to want to, or are they? Yes, they are. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open this ring right here. That is so good because that means I'm not wasting any rings. I can just open it, take that ring off, and then I can close this back up. And lay that aside. This is going to be fastened onto that chain with a bigger jump ring. So right now I'm just going to say, okay, this is going to be hanging from here. I want to plan where I want leaves to be hung, probably there, there, and on the end. Kind of like that. So I'm going to take a jump ring. Oh, they're running away from me. And I'm going to figure out where his opening went to. 
just open it up. I'm going to grab my chain. I'm going to put it on the bottom. I'm making sure that that bottom one is good and closed. Put that on. And I'm going to put this leaf on. I probably didn't really need to use the jump ring. I'm going to grab my um, other older needle nose pliers and use them. They're a little thinner at the end. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to also attach, because that doesn't leave a whole lot of room, I'm just going to use these. I don't want to use my new ones on something like this. And I'm going to hook this on. And then I'm going to hook it about four links up, I think, three or four links up. Grab a hold of my jump ring. And twist it back closed. All right, now we're going to come up and do the same thing. Now, I don't know why the rest of them just couldn't go that easy. <laughs> and that is ready to go on to the owl pendant itself. Now, I'm going to get the bigger jump rings out because these are ready to go on. And these are, I believe, eight millimeter. And yes, they are nickel free. These are six millimeters. So those must be like, I don't know if they're two, four millimeter or if they are um, two millimeter, but they are quite small. So we're just going to start by, first we're going to attach the one with the chain because he's going to be in the center right here on this side of the owl. I'm going to do this with my fingers because he's kind of thick. So we'll get him in place. I'll grab this side and I am going to grab my uh, bent nose plier so I have a good grip. And then we're going to close up around that. Just like so a hair a bit more. Sometimes if I hold it up where I can see that candle, that's why sometimes I have a candle lit here. It gives me that extra light that I need. There we go. And that is on there, just like that. And now we're gonna go ahead and put on These are so soft that I really don't need to use the pliers to open them. I need them more to close them because that is a really big gap. I'm going to put the bigger one next to that one. Use my fingers to spread them a little farther. Just like this. Maybe bring it up here a little farther where it's skinnier. Well, I'm going to have to spread it just a little more. There we go. Get a hold of this side. And 
to get a hold of this side. There we go. That's much better. Get that down around there. I'm going to go ahead and add these and I'll bring you right back. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and finished doing this and we're going to go ahead and measure this. I want this to be um, hanging about there. So um, I'm going to measure this if I can get it all back up on the table. This is a long piece of chain. So we're going to cut and I know this is an open ring but um, I try to get that other ring back um, and it just would not go back. Well, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two pieces the same length. And you're probably like, well, why did you cut it? I'm going to put him onto the chain. He's going to be um, put on the chain with um, hooks with jump rings so I'm going to do this come all the way out to the end make sure the chain is laying straight and I'm going to cut this link off right here There we go. And we're going to take, I am going to double jump ring him to this, and I'm doing this for a reason. Oops, I'm sorry guys, and my phone is overheating, so I can't see what I'm doing. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. We're gonna make this quick. We're gonna double jump ring this. I'm doing that because these jump rings are a little on the softer side and I just would rather have two jump rings. Just for safety purposes of keeping him on here. So we're just hooking two jump rings. Well, I actually didn't have to put them on at the same time, but we're going to put through just like this, put the other chain through, I'm going to close it up and then after I get this closed up I'll put the other jump ring through. And I'll tell you guys this is heavy. Make sure he's going to hang right from the chain, which he will. We're going to double jump ring him, like I said. Jump ring through both chains. Through the loop up here. Let me get a hold of that jump ring. I know this probably doesn't make sense that I'm doing this, but like I said, these are kind of a softer jump ring, and I would rather have a second jump ring holding everything together. And having that security. All right, now we are going to come up here, pull both chains up, and I know that this is not quite the same color, but it's going to be back at the back of your head. I'm going to use this toggle clasp. I'm going to use the same size jump rings. I'm not so worried about what's going to be behind the head, just that all that weight on one jump ring right there 
You know what I mean? We're just going to hook that on. Hook this on. I cannot see my phone screen. I should have used the other phone for this. There's that. Give it a good old tug test. 